What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your APM10 Active Studio subwoofer. This is the perfect sub to hear all of those low end frequencies in your studio setup. Now the APM10 comes in three different colors, black like we have right here, white, and a classic wood finish. So along with the sub itself, you'll also get an included power cable to power the sub. Now before I show you how to set it up, let me show you all the different features on the subwoofer. Starting with the volume knob over here, this is what you would use to set the level coming out of the sub. Underneath that we have the low pass frequency knob, which will let you set the specific frequency range coming out of the subwoofer. Underneath that we have our phase switch here, which will delay the incoming signal to the sub over a range of 0 to 180 degrees to better integrate the sub with our speakers. You'll also notice that there are many different ways that we can set up an interface or speakers to the subwoofer. For example, we have the RCA line inputs and outputs. We also have two sets of left and right XLR inputs and outputs. And after that, we have two left and right quarter inch inputs. So again, we can use all of these different kinds of connections to sync up to different speakers, subwoofers, interfaces whatever your setup needs. There's also a ground lift switch here that we can use to eliminate any potential sound coming from cables. And finally, we have the sub and high pass filter bypass, which allows us to connect a foot pedal to the sub so we can turn it on and off to compare our mix with and without that extra low end. And of course, we have the power switch on the back to turn on our sub. So now let me show you how we would set up our sub with a couple of studio monitors. Okay, so here I have my APM5 studio monitors, one with an active speaker and one with a pass passive speaker that I'm going to connect to my subwoofer. So to connect my sub to the speakers, I'm going to need an RCA cable. I'm gonna take one end and plug it into the RCA output on the back of the subwoofer. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the RCA inputs on my speakers. But keep in mind, if your studio monitors are both active with XLR inputs, we can also use the XLR output on the sub to connect to the speakers. Now, before we test out our setup, I'm gonna connect my iPad to the subwoofer by taking an RCA to aux cable. I'm gonna take the RCA ends and plug them into the RCA input on the back of the sub. Then I would take the other end and plug it into my iPad, which I already have connected. So now I can go ahead and turn on my subwoofer. Then I can turn on my speakers. I'll go ahead and raise the volume on my sub. Then I'll raise the volume on my speakers. So now that we're all set up, let's hear how it all sounds. Do it. Woo! Yeah, you're hearing all that low end shaking the table. You're hearing the high end coming out of the studio monitors. Really nice, really nice. So this is a really great setup for casual listening if we're using a tablet, a smartphone, a laptop, etc. But now I'm gonna grab my interface and my laptop to show you an ideal studio setup. All right, so here I have my laptop and my interface with my speakers and sub. So to connect my sub to the speakers, I'm going to need an RCA cable. I'm gonna take one end and plug it into the RCA output on the back of the subwoofer. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the RCA inputs on my speakers. So now to connect my interface to my subwoofer, I'm gonna need two quarter inch cables. I'm gonna take two cables and plug them into the quarter inch left and right outputs on my interface. Then I'm gonna take the other ends and plug them into the left and right quarter inch inputs on my sub. And keep in mind, if your interface has XLR output, you could also use those to connect to the sub. And when you're using your interface with your laptop, you'll just want to be sure to go into the sound settings and match the inputs and outputs to the interface you're using. So now we can go ahead and turn on the subwoofer. Then we can go ahead and turn on our speakers. Then we'll raise the volume on the subwoofer. Then we'll raise the volume on our speakers. Then we're gonna wanna raise the monitor knob here on the interface so we're hearing everything coming out of the speakers. So now that everything's connected, leveled up, and ready to go, let's hear how this setup sounds. Again, you're hearing all of that low end. You're hearing the kick drum really come through. You're hearing the bass guitar. So this is a really great setup. So when you're listening to your mix or your masters, you're hearing all of that low end through the subwoofer. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your APM10 Active Studio subwoofer. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time. Wow, wow, wow.